Hey there! Today I'd like to talk about flow, increasing flow of a pen. Uh, I've shown you that before, done some fine tuning, but that was with cheap pens. And this is a Cross Apogee, very nice pen, nothing wrong with the pen. It's just that for me, I would like it to be just a little bit wetter. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Um, as I said, I've shown you on, on inexpensive Chinese pens how to increase flow, how to smooth out the nib. Smoothing is not necessary here, but I just want to make it a little bit wetter. How do I do that? Well, the same principle, bra shim, um, a little bit of patience, a little bit of pushing down on the nib. I'm going to show you how to do this. And I'm going to show you that what I did earlier on inexpensive Chinese pens also works on an 18 karat gold nib. Um, one thing I will say is you do this at your own risk. So I do not, and I will not accept any responsibility if anything goes wrong. Try, I, I'm just going to show you a technique. What you do with that is your uh, personal decision. Uh, do start with cheap pens if you really want to do this. Just, you know, some pens you don't mind if they get ruined. Um, go slow. That is very important. Don't overdo it. You can always do a bit more, but sometimes it's hard to bring it back to what it used to be. So you can always open up times more, but closing them up is more difficult. Um, check your results often. Just check it. Keep your pen inked up, use it, put them back together again, use it, open up the times a bit more, use it again, etc. That's how you do this. And you do risk ruining a pen, of course. But I think if you go slow, if you're sensible, if you're patient, this should be fine. One thing I will say is that once you start taking pens apart, I'm not exactly sure what happens to your warranty. So if that's very important for you, then, you know, be mindful of, of uh, that issue. For me, I want a pen to write the way I want it to write. And if that voids the warranty, but it gets wetter, then I can live with that. But that's all, let's do it. Enough talk. Let's do some stuff here. Alright, so here I have a very, very nice cross apogee, which I really, really like, but when I use it, I find it just a little bit on the dry side. And I've just inked it up, so right now it's okay. But if I write with it for a longer period of time, I think, yeah, that, that could, could do with a little bit more wetness. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I would make this pen a bit wetter. I take a tissue and I pull the nib and feed. You're going to get ink on your fingers, that's how it's going to be. They're just friction fit so you can just pull them out and probably clean them a bit. You can use anything. I use a tissue. Um, this is an 18K nib so be a little gentle, you don't want to scratch anything. Now what I'm taking is one of these two thousandth of an inch brass shims. I'm taking a new one because this is a really nice nib. The problem is I, I, I can't really show you but when I hold this up to the light and I see a beam of light pass and I see that that, that, that gap gets narrower um, but it actually the two tine tips they touch and I would like to make sure that is not the case. So I just slide this in. I always use the the breather hole to, to sort of stick that into and then I just pull this through a couple of times. Now what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm exerting some very gentle pressure upwards so that this time come out just a little bit but you have to be extremely careful there's almost no pressure that I'm exerting okay then I turn the thing around and I do the same thing so now the other tine is being pushed upwards just slightly. You see what's happening, right? I'm, I'm sort of doing, I'm, I'm pushing that way so that that tine will open up a little bit and this tine will open up a little bit. But I don't want them to look like that. They should look like this. They should actually taper and they should just not touch. And right now they're doing this. And I don't like that because that is ruining the wetness of the pen. It's more than adequate. I mean, it's not a bad nib or anything or a bad alignment. It's just that I think I would personally like it to be just a little bit wetter. All right, adjust the light a bit there. Um, so I've done that for a bit, and I'm going to hold it up to the light again. And I see that I'm getting where I want to be, but I'm not there yet, not entirely. 
so put the trim in a little bit more pressure and turn it around again um, you can see that this is an interesting to do for your warranty right I mean you probably don't want to do this if you really mind your warranty a whole lot for me it's not a big issue all right yes we're getting somewhere now what I do is I'll take something you know I get a little mini pen that should work it's metal I've opened up the, the nib tines a little bit but I want to open up a little bit more I've shown you this trick in another video so what I do is I put the nib on something that's made of metal and I, I really make sure I'm holding it well so not all the way there I'm holding it as close to the nib as I can the actual tips and I'm going to do is I'm going to push that up very gently very very gently and very slowly One two three and I let go so what I'm doing I have that nib I put it on there I have fingers here these are the tips of the nib and I'm pushing the nib up gently like that and then what happens is that often the tines open up a little bit under the pressure that's what I'd like to do now I check my results I see I'm not yet there entirely I'm going to repeat that process you have to be patient and you have to be careful you don't ruin the alignment of your tines two three I check it against the light again and I see that I'm really getting where I want to be because now the tines are almost separated so now I take my shim again and this passes through a lot easier now and I would like ideally that the point oh oh two inch shim is kept in place by the nib tines but when I started I really had to force this through and right now I can even go in from that side which is a little difficult because I have to try and do this there you go I can just pass it through and it passes through easily now okay so I hold it up to the light again again I'm sorry I can't really show you yes the two tines just not touch now I'm taking one thousandth of an inch that's a thinner shim whoops because I may have put some gunk in the nib slit um, because I was I was sort of shimming it with that brass stuff here we go and then the other way around so I always like to use my fingers and really pull on this and then usually I blow on it a bit okay now let's have a look I'm going to hold the loop up to the camera see how well this works will you look at that isn't it a thing of beauty I like that slit and I think those tines just touch let me look at it from the other way around yeah, I think they either just touch or just not touch. Let me hold it up to the light. No, they just not touch, but it's really a very, very thin gap between those two tines, which is just the way I like things to be. All right, I'm going to assemble the pen again. Maybe just wipe this off once more to get some finger grease off. All right, I put this back in place. There you go, that should be nice. I put it back into the feed in any specific way. Yeah, probably this. There we go. All right. Then I operate the converter just to get some ink. There we go, flowing. I assemble the pen. Now I want to see what this has done. Doesn't write. That's normal. Need to get ink into the nib. There we go. All right. 
There we go. This is a nice juicy nib. Just the way I like it. Nice and wet. It still has that nice bit of feedback it used to have. It didn't get any scratchier or whatever. Uh, I like the way it works. Perfection. Just a few minutes, fine tuning, your pen writes the way you like it to write. I hope this was useful. I say again, you do this at your own risk. Start with a cheap pen, but I've shown you a bunch of Chinese cheap pens. I thought I'd show you this with a somewhat more expensive pen today. Um, you do it at your own risk. I cannot, will not take any responsibility for ruined pens. But if you go slow, be careful, don't overdo it. Just be patient. You can do this too. Hope that was useful, and I'll see you later.